Hey, how you doing? So here's the thing that's getting me killed at the moment. My over-reliance on stand heavy punch as an anti-air. It's easy, it's one button, it got me to super plat, but when it whiffs, when people can space their jumps properly, boy do you get punished for it. And when it doesn't hit and it doesn't whiff, you can still get crossed up as well. If I can get the right spacing here, I'll try and show you. That one hit. I tell you what, my opponents are far, there you go. My opponents are far better at that than I am. But um, yeah, it's an amazing anti-air button in the right spacing. But when it whiffs or when you get crossed up, you get blown up for it. And that's been happening to me a lot and I think it's hindering my progress. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some alternative options for anti-airing. I think when you're in that range is the danger zone. And I think we can jump back light kick, which will still allow us to be charging zonk at the time. It doesn't do much damage, but it does get you out of the situation. And if you do happen to get hit whilst doing that, it should just air reset. So you shouldn't be too comparable at that point either. Um, so the close range, I need to start working on doing jump back light kick to counter those but that medium range that sort of completely whiffs and you end up in a bit of a scramble so at the longer range I guess I want to be looking at heavy kick ruffian which seems to be an excellent anti-air but again if it whiffs I'm really punishable after it so we need to work out the spacing at which heavy kick ruffian doesn't work and we should be using stand heavy punch still so kind of that kind of intermediate range and then for things that are closer, we'll do jump back light kick. And for that middle range that I'm still working out there, I still got hit then, we'll use uh, the stand heavy punch still. So further away, medium kick ruffian, even if it trades, you see it does more damage. So we'll be getting more damage off of our anti-airs as well. And then in that middle range, we'll continue to use stand heavy punch. And at this closer range, we'll work on trying to use jump out light kick. Now, obviously, this gives me things to think about every time the opponent jumps. So once I'm comfortable that I can go, okay, I've got the range sorted, and I'll work out which one of these I'm going to use in each situation when I know that all he's going to do is jump. What I'll do, I think, is add in a recording slot here where he's throwing a fireball. And now I have to keep an eye out for the fireball as well as the jump. So that's just an extra thing to think about. So you <laughs> immediately get hit. So start with just be blocking the fireballs and then try and do, if he jumps, react to that. But then eventually we want to look at swaying the fireballs when he throws them and still reacting to the jumps appropriately. And this will very quickly become very difficult, but hopefully will pay dividends. And then even after that, once we're happy with the fireballs and the jumps, I can also add in... Oh, I'll do dash throw instead. Typical Ken dash throw. So now we've got Ken walking backwards and forwards. That's two of the recording slots, a little bit back, a little bit forward. One is the jump and then one is the dash throw. So now we've got him doing everything, and this is going to overwhelm me pretty quickly. I would imagine I'm already choosing the wrong anti-air there. Try to keep him away. Oh, jump back heavy punch works too. Oh, there you go. Whiffed it. So you see what we're doing now? We've got this kind of, I don't know what that Ken's going to do situation, which is a little bit more like a match. And we've got him either jumping in with the medium kit, which will cross up if I'm wrong. We've got him throwing a fireball, and we've got him dashing in and trying to throw. Um, and if that doesn't overwhelm me enough to try and grow and learn a bit and use the right anti airs then I don't know what will. So we'll keep trying that and we'll see how the progress goes. I'll catch you next time.